Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today it's day three of the Weight Loss for Women Over 50 series and today is all about that low impact cardio. You guys, there's absolutely no jumping today, no transitions to the ground, no squatting, and no equipment needed. So when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go! All right, you guys, let's get moving and grooving and that means that we are going to get started with some arm circles with high knees. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm pretty sure that every single joint in my entire body just cracked just now. How about yours? How are you feeling today? And in fact, before I even really tell you too much about today, let's talk about how you're feeling today after yesterday's workout and the workout from the day before. You guys, this might be kind of a brand new concept to you working out every single day. And I want you to know that one of the things that we're really thinking about and concentrating on this month is figuring out exactly how to moderate each workout so that none of them is ever too much. Because when we work out every single day, it starts to get that cumulative effect like we do you know, during a long workout. The longer you work out, the higher your heart rate comes up, the more you're sweating, the harder it gets. Well, yeah, when we're working out every single day like we do consistently when we're losing weight, you start to kind of feel that. Even here on day three, you might be feeling that. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. And my friends, that's really what we're talking about today with our low impact cardio. We're gonna talk about how to moderate every kind of workout. And I don't mean modify, I don't mean make it easier or do something different. I mean moderate, meaning that you're doing the work, but you're doing it at a pace and an intensity that works for you. You know, if you've done my workouts before, I always tell you that your workout is your workout, that you should do it at your pace, that you should feel good about what you are doing. But especially when we're working on weight loss, it's so important to not work too hard. And I know that sounds so crazy. I know that there are so many fitness trainers out there and when you were younger, it may or may not have applied to you or me. But everybody wants to tell you to work harder, work harder, work harder, burn more, do more, go faster. But I will tell you that the real secret to success at this age is to kind of do a little less, honestly, in so many ways. My friends, let's do some welcome to my homes and welcome to my home. I'm already falling off of balance. It's gonna be a good day. And I tell you what, it actually is gonna be a good day. I love low impact cardio. It is hands down my favorite kind of exercise in the whole wide world where we get nice and sweaty and have a great time without all that jumping, jarring, and bouncing around. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. And we're going to do each exercise three times in a row. It's kind of like a super modified Tabata kind of workout where we're getting a lot of work in a short intervals and kind of a short amount of time, but we're doing plenty of it. Now, when it beeps, I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer here. We're gonna start with non-jumping jumping jacks, which is exactly what it sounds like. Your hands are doing the jumping jack motion, but only one foot is coming out at a time. So we're doing a non-jumping jumping jack. Now this 20 second interval, not too long, not too short. In fact, it's the Goldilocks of intervals. Sometimes for HIT workouts, like this one technically is a HIT workout, you will have trainers tell you that you should be going super hard during the work. And then that rest interval is actually pretty short, so we don't really bring our heart rate down. I'm gonna do a little tapper here. We're doing that exact same thing two more times. Like I said, three times in a row on the same exercise before we move on. So it's a repeating, no repeat. Once we're done with what is not a circuit at all, here we go, <laughs> we are gonna be done with the exercise. So this is our second of three intervals of these non-jumping jacks. But my friends today, rather than trying to think about going super hard, what I want you to think about is going the right pace. Going at a pace that you can get your heart rate up and keep it, here we go with 10 seconds of rest, keep it up, elevated, but never so high that you need this 10 seconds of rest or that you need longer than the 10 seconds of rest. Here we go with our third of three intervals of these non-jumping jacks. This is our last one. So hopefully if you you know enjoyed this one that you'd be like, oh, that's too bad, we're all done with these. And if you didn't enjoy it, well, my friend, we're almost done anyway. <laughs> it's why I love a repeating no repeat. You can get through three intervals of just about anything. For example, coming up next, forward hinge arm flappers. We're 
going to have our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Back is going to stay super duper straight the whole time. Core is pulled in tight. Hands are going to flap, kind of like those jumping jacks again while we hinge forward at the waist. Let me turn to the side so you can see. Your back is staying super duper straight. This is in fact a deadlift, but we're taking it at more of a cardio pace. Now my pace that I'm going might be exactly right for you. It might also be way too fast or even way too slow. That was our first one done. We've got two more of those. This is 10 seconds of rest. And I want you to know that whatever pace you're going, if it works for you, my friend, it works for me. But I will caution you that the harder you work, the harder it is to lose weight. And I know, I know that that is so counterintuitive. It's literally the exact opposite of basically everything we've ever known ever about losing weight. But here's the thing. This is 10 seconds of rest and then we're doing those forward hinge arm flappers for the third and final time. When you work out super hard, Good for you in lots of ways, absolutely. Good burn, good, good work, good for your heart and lungs, good for you, feels really good with the endorphins. But when we get ourselves all up like that, our body has to recover from that. And our bodies don't make as much of the hormone that we need for recovery, 10 seconds of rest, as we used to. Coming up next is low swinging tappers. So we're actually doing this exact same thing with our feet, but our hands are gonna swing low, really big from side to side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it right now as a matter of fact. So hands are swinging low from side to side. Feet are tapping from side to side, feeling real good with this one. That hormone that we used to have so much of, estrogen, and we have less of now, is actually responsible for helping your muscles recover. 10 seconds of rest. Isn't that crazy? When I first discovered that, I was like, wait, what? That's why it feels different now. We're still totally capable of doing the work. Absolutely 100% capable of doing the work. The hard part is recovering afterwards. And when you have a harder time recovering, your body feels a level of stress. Now, the stress for us usually means mental, but stress can be physical also in terms of exercise stress. 10 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna do those for the third and final time. When your body feels stress, your body stores fat. It knows that you need energy for later, and here we go with those low swinging tappers for the third and final time. And that's literally the exact opposite reason of why we're working hard. <laughs> we're trying to get rid of fat rather than storing fat. So my friends, let me tell you, you do not have to go hard. And in fact, going hard can make weight loss hard. When it comes, when it beeps again, we're gonna do windmill tap backs, which means that we're gonna have our hands and our feet nice and big, nice and wide. We're gonna reach our opposite hand down towards our opposite foot while tapping back with that same foot. So it's almost, almost like a curtsy lunge like we just did yesterday. So if that doesn't feel good, don't do it. I want you to know that if you are sore from yesterday, you know, this is one of the things that we're kind of learning how to deal with this month. If you do feel sore, 10 seconds of rest, I want you to go even gentler today. That's that recovery that we just talked about. If your body doesn't feel like it's ready for more, it might not be ready for more. It's totally okay to move. It's totally okay to get your heart rate up. It's totally okay to have some cardio fun, but you don't want to go so hard that you are then adding to the stress that your body is feeling because my friends, stress is not your friend in so many ways. <laughs> 10 seconds of rest. You guys, when it beeps again, we're gonna do those windmill tap backs for the third and final time. Today's workout, you know, we spent so much of yesterday talking about how you don't have to burn a lot of calories during your workout to be good for weight loss. And today, even though we are burning more calories than we did yesterday, I do want you to know that sometimes, in fact, no, not even sometimes, almost all of the time, the real point of a workout, 10 seconds of rest, and when it beeps again, we're gonna do a reach across crunch. So we're gonna have our feet kind of set. We're gonna reach across and then crunch on that side. So we're really working our abs and obliques, reach across and crunch, reach across and crunch. It's a big motion that really gets your heart rate up whew, while also really working your core. <laughs> totally feeling a lot of that single leg standing stuff that we did yesterday while I'm doing this. How about you, my friends? Oh, 10 seconds of rest. 
Ah, this is the real joy for me of working out every single day, is really getting a feel for what, what I'm doing. Really noticing the muscles that I'm using. Really noticing the effort that I've put in. Really thinking about putting in the right amount of effort rather than always going with the most amount of effort. You, no matter what pace you're going, no matter how big your motions, that was two of them done. Next one is our third and final time with those reach across crunch. You are doing the best thing that you can be doing for weight loss. Not when you're working out. Here we go with our third and final interval. But when whew, you're doing the right thing. When you're exercising moderately, when it feels just right, maybe even doesn't feel like quite enough because of our lifelong conditioning that we have to do more. But when you are eating the right number of calories, whew, managing your stress, drinking your water, you're totally doing the right thing. When it beeps again, we're gonna do can-cans. It's a knee up and then a kick. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my gosh, I'm choking on myself here. Knee up and then kick, and knee and kick. Oh my gosh, if you would like to, if it feels right and appropriate for you, you can get your hands into this a little bit, putting your hands up overhead. The higher your hands, the higher your heart rate. I'm keeping this, ah, 10 seconds of rest. Moderate for me, moderate for me, honestly might look nothing like moderate for you. And I want you to know that you should never feel like you have to work to be moderate. <laughs> That's literally the opposite of what moderate should feel like for you. Moderate should feel I don't want to use the word gentle, but it's the word that always comes to mind because it's just right. 10 seconds of rest. Next one is our third and final time with those can-cans. You shouldn't feel like you're working at a point where you almost can't do more. You should also... I'm trying to think of how else to describe it. The fact is, it should almost feel not enough. And that's such a weird thing to aim for, but learning what that is and how to accomplish it, that was our third and final time, 10 seconds of rest. And coming up next, we're doing booty kicker elbow swings. So we're doing booty kickers with our legs and elbow swings with our arms. So I have to think about which way we go here. <laughs> there it is. Trying to make sure that I've got it timed just right. So we're kicking and swinging, kicking and swinging. <laughs> You know, today is just a little bit of coordination for me. Cardio always is, which is part of the reason why I enjoy it so much. 10 seconds of rest. And I know that some of you might not enjoy cardio. You know, yesterday I was talking to you as though, as though you don't necessarily like strength. But today, even though I love cardio, here we go with interval number two, I know that not everybody does. And that's part of why it's almost such a relief when you're losing weight that you don't have to go hard. Truly, if you don't like cardio, I can almost guarantee that the reason you don't like it is because you've tried to go too much, too fast, too hard. Here's 10 seconds of rest and then we're going into those booty kicker elbow swings for the third and final time. You guys, today's workout, it's moving along very quickly. It's not super long. It doesn't have to be. You know, that kind of falls under that category of what is moderate. You know, for you, the length of these workouts this month might be right at the edge of the longest workouts that you've done. 10 seconds of resting. Coming up next, we're going to do high hand oblique crunches. Hands are going to be high, like it says, and we're going to bring our opposite elbow towards our opposite knee while bringing that opposite knee up. Oh, it's just a little bit of balance work. <laughs> standing on one foot, thinking, oh my gosh, about pulling in your core, standing up straight and tall, having your hands up overhead really brings up your heart rate. So do you need to move a little slower? Totally okay. I want you to move at a pace that feels best for you. Excellent job. Moderation has everything to do with duration, intensity, speed. There's lots of factors that go into it. And honestly, moderation is its in the eye of the beholder. It's exactly like beauty. Your moderate is very personal to you. And my goal for you, whether you have this as your goal for yourself or not, but my goal for you this month 
is for you to pay attention to and really learn what moderation feels like for you so that you can always get your best workouts. This is 10 seconds of rest and then we're doing those high hand oblique crunches for the third and final time. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm looking at my whiteboard here and the last couple of exercises that I've got on my list, I'm like, okay, how do I do this? They're a little bit more coordinated <laughs> which means that I'm probably gonna go a little bit slower, which again is totally fine. Coming up next, we're doing wide open side kicks and that means that we're gonna have our hands out to the front, right about shoulder height. We're gonna open up the hand that is kicking. So you're opening and kicking, opening and kicking. I really have to think about where my hand is. My feet can more or less do the kicking on their own, <laughs> keeping my hands at shoulder height and only moving one of them at a time really helps you focus on pulling in your core, really helps you know where your body is, oh my gosh, in space and time. <laughs> okay, I'm choking again. You guys, I need some water. When we're done with this, I'm definitely getting water. Hopefully you have some nearby. I don't usually take a water break while we're working out. I don't always need one, but today I'm definitely feeling it. Water is such an important part of your weight loss journey. Making sure that you are drinking the right amount of water really is one of the things that it's a good idea to track during your day. 10 seconds of rest and then coming up next is our third and final time with those wide open side kicks. <clears throat> If you haven't already downloaded, make sure that you open up the description box below. I have a freebie for you. It's literally everything that I know about weight loss over 50, and it's got some good tracking sheets so that you can keep track of your calories, your exercise, your water, your sleep, and keep your goal right front and foremost in your mind. Honestly, whew, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're gonna do middle skips, which is just what it sounds like. We're doing a skipping motion, but we're keeping our hands kind of at the middle and I really did that wrong there we go it's opposite hand and opposite foot this is the real reason why I need 10 seconds in between the exercises you guys I have to have that mental space to figure out what my body is doing next you're bringing up your opposite hand and your opposite knee as exactly as though we were skipping but without any kind of jumping at all <laughs> And 10 seconds of rest. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I really do have a good time with cardio. And hopefully, if you are one of my bees who doesn't love cardio, hopefully today has really shown you that cardio is supposed to be fun. Workouts are supposed to be fun. You know, we spend so many years of our lives pushing ourselves so hard that exercise just seems like a chore sometimes. The fact is, because the result that you're gonna get out of it, 10 seconds of rest, isn't necessarily weight loss. It is mental health, clarity, good for your heart, good for your bones, good for your heart and lungs, good for your body. Here we go with our third and final time with these middle skips. My friends, you might as well have fun with it. You know, you can be serious about counting your calories. You can be serious about getting in your water. You can be serious about your sleep habits. You can be serious about losing weight, but you can have fun with your workouts, 10 seconds of rest. And this, my friends, is our last exercise in what is not a circuit at all. We're doing toy soldiers. That means that we're gonna have hands up. We're reaching our opposite hand for our opposite kicking foot. Having those hands up overhead the whole time really brings your heart rate up, making sure that you're moving at a pace that feels best for you. Truly, standing still with your hands above your head will raise your heart rate. You don't have to move very much at all to get the cardio effect. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Whew, catch your breath. And then we're gonna go into it again for the second time. Here it comes. Oh my gosh. You guys, what a great job you're doing. I'm so proud of you. I know we're only three days in, but seriously, I'm super proud of you for tackling a challenge like we're doing this month, for setting your goals as a big priority for yourself and 10 seconds of rest. It's so important to be able to do something for yourself. That is, that is honestly one of the nicest things that I have done ever in my life. Here's our third and final time with this exercise, these toy soldiers, getting that heart rate up, up, up here at the end of our workout. You guys, when it beeps again, whew, we will be done. 
but we will not be finished. I have a built-in finisher for us. It's actually just one more exercise, the exact same way we've done all the other exercises. It's just a little harder, so that's why I'm calling it the finisher. We're doing drinky bird jacks. That means that we are going to have our hands moving like jumping jacks, whoo, while our feet move like drinky birds, which is a single leg deadlift. This is balance, this is core, this is every muscle that we worked yesterday <laughs> in our balance and strength workout. So this feels tough. Feel free. Oh my gosh, 10 seconds of rest. Feel free to moderate or modify in whatever manner works best for you because we are really almost better than done. We are almost finished. Here's our second interval. Gonna do three of these. Really thinking about having that core pulled in tight. Thinking about good form even when we're moving quickly. Always good to do your best to keep your body safe and have it get stronger. 10 seconds of rest, the next time is our last interval. What a great job you're doing, getting the exact right amount of sweat today. Here we go, our third and final time. Awesome job, really struggling with my balance on this one. Really want you to think about pulling in your core, squeezing from your glutes, moving at a speed that you can control. You might be able to go faster, who doggies, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna make it any better. I'm turning off the timer because that was it. Oh my gosh, let's cool this down a little bit. I'm doing some little side to side tapping here while my heart rate comes down a little bit. Ah, what a great job you did. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles. Oh my goodness, real nice and gentle. I really like to keep my feet moving while we're doing these cool down stretches, especially when we're coming off of a cardio workout like today. The fact is, after you've gotten your heart rate up nice and high, you don't really just wanna like stop and stand still and lock your knees or just sit down and plummet your heart rate. It's a really good idea, it's really nice for your body, nice for your brain to cool down at least for a minute or two. Now I know that some of you love the cool down and some of you don't love the cool down. I actually happen to belong in the don't love the cool down camp, I'll be honest with you. It's part of the reason why I do the exact same cool down as warm up and exact same cool down every single day. When I have a routine and I can just do it without thinking, it gets done. It gets done and I don't have to overthink it. I don't have to be like, oh, what exercises do I wanna do today? How do I want to cool down? Because the fact is, I don't want to and I will choose to opt out of it any chance I get. Honestly, if the camera wasn't on, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> and do some arm crossers. Give yourself a nice big hug because you have done something that not everybody loves to do. <laughs> My friends, that really is the power of routine and planning ahead. When you just have something on the list, it's something you're just going to do no matter what, it gets done. And especially something that's like important for you, like a cool down, it's really nice to not have to decide every single time, am I gonna do this, am I not gonna do this? Yeah, you are, because you're here with me and this is what we do at the end of every workout. Now, if you happen to be somebody who loves the cool down, of course I have more for you. I mean, I don't do a super long one because again, I'm only doing this because the camera's on me and I promised you I would, but if you love a nice long cool down, I have one here for you on screen. On the other side of this top of the screen, I'm gonna have this entire playlist of all all of the 31 days of the weight loss for women over 50 workouts. Right now, there's only three of them, but later in the month, there will be all of them. On the bottom of the screen, there's the letter P. That's an invitation to go over to Patreon, where a monthly pledge from you helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you, thank you so much for that. On the other side of the screen, that is a picture of me, and that's actually a subscribe button. If you are not already subscribed, make sure that you click that and click the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. My friends, thank you so so much for working out with me. Make sure you click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.